How to Create a Study Guide by Mr. Amster. Before you begin studying, always make sure to relax. If you follow these steps, you'll do great. If you are taking the, if you're writing this down so you can always have it, make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen. Step one, what pages do I need? When creating a study guide, make sure that you have plenty of lined paper and make sure it is titled Study Guide for whatever your topic is. Figure out the necessary pages from your notes and write them down. That way, you can reference them when you need to go look at the notes later on. Here's an example of step one. Always to make sure that you have your name on it, in case you lose your study guide. Don't want to have to start over again. Here's your title, study guide, and let's say we're studying Egypt, and the necessary pages for this unit, pages 70 to 86. Step two, what are the key categories? Look at the big topics that we have covered during the unit. Spread out the key topics over the page. There should be no more than two to four big topics per page. And that is on front and then two to four on the back, depending on your writing. Make sure you leave plenty of room to write in key terms and short definitions. Here's an example of how this might look. We have geography, daily life and trading, pharaohs, pyramids, timeline, religion, writing and art, and mummification. Step three, what are the key terms and where do they go? Go through each page of your notes and pull out all of the key terms and put them into the categories. Be thorough. Better to have it on there, and maybe it's not on the test, than to not have it on there, and it is on the test. If it's in your notes, it's always fair game. Here's an example of step three. So some key points in here are the Nile River, which I know is geography cataracts, which are also geography. I know that when we're talking about the age of the pyramids or the age of the empires, we're talking about timeline information. Polytheism is a religion. Pharaoh names are part of the Pharaoh unit. Step four. What if I don't know? For all information that you're unsure about its category, just put it under I don't know or unknown. But then you need to seek out a peer, or two, at least two, and find out where it should go. Check and double check. If you have two separate things, two separate answers, ask a third person, a fourth. Here's an example of step four. So we have Khufu and we have embalming. Not really sure where it is but I asked a classmate and he said embalming was part of mummification so I'm gonna put it under there with Khufu I put an arrow up there first and maybe I'll drag it up there later step five no think I know and don't know these are three categories that you can identify on your notes. What do I know? Go through all of your terms. Okay, you've written them all down. If you know what it is, leave it blank for right now. What I somewhat know, what I think I know here. Give that an underline. Maybe that's something you need to go over again. And what I don't know, what I need to study, that should be highlighted. Emphasize it. Get to know what you need to... What, know what you don't know and be honest with yourself you're not cheating anybody but yourself if you're just skipping over things you don't know also part of this is figure out how you want to study what technique is best for you a very good one is to make flashcards by hand 
Those are the that always works the best for me. Maybe you're good. You have a good friend that you always study with. Quiz them. Go back and forth. Keep asking questions, and make sure though the answers are correct. Another one you may be unfamiliar with is called two-column study guides. You write out the key terms on one side, and on the same part of the on the other side, you write out the answer. It's sort of a easier, another way to make a flashcard, and it's very effective. You can also go check out videos about the topic and learn more. Here's an example of how this might look. So you know what? I know a little bit about the Nile River. I know it. I got it. There's, there's the blue and the white. One's rough, one's calm. I got it. It goes south to north. Piece of cake. I know it. So I'll leave it blank. And maybe I'll put a K next to it. I know it. Cataracts, I get a little confused on them. Where are they? You know, what town they may be starting in? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I know it begins with an A. I think I know. So I'm going to underline it. Ah, but social structure, I get confused. I know the first two, pharaohs, nobles, but I don't remember the rest. I'm going to under I'm going to make sure that it's highlighted and since it's on a computer, I'll make it bold. And I'll also label it, don't know. So I know that's something I really want to study. Again, whenever you're studying, relax. Please make sure that you, ha you take good notes and that you use the notes. Take advantage of them. I hope this little video helps you out, and best of luck with your studying. The end.